are back. Welcome back, everybody. I am your humble host, Picasso. Thanks for joining in. And we are back with day two of fighting temptation. Okay. And uh, we are back. And we are going to be continuing with day two. All right. <clears throat> so um if you haven't seen already there's three parts there's going to be three parts this is the second part and uh the other part of course was already uploaded which would be uh day one it's a three-day plan um helping with fighting temptation uh specifically based on the porn uh, uh, uh temptation okay which is a very strong uh, uh hindrance for many you know, uh, of many of the, uh, many people, you know, of the body of Christ, it's a very dangerous thing. Once that door is open, it's incredibly hard to close that door. Of course, the temptation will always be there, right? It's never going to go away. Um, uh, <clears throat> I feel strongly in saying that it definitely does get easier, right? Uh, of course, uh, uh, focusing more on God and not the world uh you know i believe it it will get easier it won't go away there might be sometimes it's a little bit harder you know the temptation might be at like a uh you know that full blast 100 percent. like it's it's there like you're right there you're you know you're this close to like snapping but again keeping our focus on god and we'll 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 make it through the holy spirit is there for us you know um one of the best things, you know, that I've actually been doing recently, which I'm, um, you know, ashamed to say that I ha haven't been doing it as long as I should have been doing. <clears throat> but uh, anytime you're tempted with something, you know, if you smoke, uh, if you do watch porn, if you, I don't know, lie, swear, steal, cheat, anytime you're uh, confronted with the temptation of sinning, read the Bible, read a verse. You know, get on your knees, pray, you know, uh, those are the best things to really um, keep you focused on God. All right. So we're going to go ahead and dive into it. And we are going to. <clears throat> that would be like something stuck in my throat. Now, uh, we let's jump into June 1st and uh, we are going to start with uh, a devotional. So let's go ahead and read an begin right there we go so <clears throat> so devotional this is titled the room way of beating porn temptation okay so it starts here by saying this is the second word the lord floated in my heart when it came to the discovery of strategy to overcome the porn watching temptation the porn washing temptation uh, room. Okay, so I believe the word is room. This is what happens when we watch porn according to Jesus. It is as if we are checking into a room with porn model or with a porn model or a naked woman. We are seeing on our computer screen, phone screen, tablets. Again, accessibility. It's 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 crazy how easy it is. To come across these things now not like back in the day where you know you'd have to go out and buy a magazine or something you know um it's crazy though it's crazy technology man the good and the bad right uh it is as if we are sleeping with her in that room why do i say that i say this because i have read jesus's words in matthew 5 28 okay which says <clears throat> but i tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Let's say my wife is at my home. Would I, a born again believer, I like to say follower, this word believer here I'm not fond of because, you know, so many are believers, but not actually followers. Again, that's, that, that's for another video, but, um, so I'm going to swap out believer here because a lot of people believe, but they don't follow. I'm a follower of Christ, not just a believer. Um, would I, a born again believer, follower, 
ever walk into a room in my home with a naked girl and look myself in and lock myself into that room with her? Certainly not. Yet, that's what happens when we believe when we followers choose to watch porn. It is as if we take the model who has posed for porn into a room and sleep with her. I'm applying here what J. Budzizewski wrote about porn elsewhere. <clears throat> she wrote, It is okay for a husband to warm up with a bunch of real prostitute porn stars in their bedrooms and once they are adequately aroused, they could roll over to complete their sex act with each other. This thought has helped me wallop the temp the temptingly flighted ball of porn temptation for a huge six. Time again, time and again, uh, to use an imaginary from the world of cricket, a popular game in India. This realization has punctured in my heart the enlarging balloon of porn temptation countless times. Okay, so basically, so so wrote somewhere so this 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 uh lady jay budzizuski right she wrote about porn saying that it's okay for husbands to warm up themselves and then finish with their wives which is you know that's 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 dumb <laughs> it might that's i'm you know that's that i'm sure that's the point that he's getting to as well um so the biggest lie the devil can tell you is that a pinch of porn will do no harm soon you find out that a little porn will not be enough this i agree with the dose of porn that was enough uh, till yesterday would not be enough today you may discover what gave you a cheap thrill yesterday doesn't excite you that much today and hence you would want more and more depraved forms of porn you'll never find in sin what you entered sin to find. Someone smartly said, you will end up hungrier than ever. That is the message of the prophet Hosea to those who indulged in sexual sin in his time. And the scripture was Hosea 9, verse one and two. Uh, the message by Eugene Peterson, okay? So that's the thing with any temptation. Again, these, topics here or these points here on porn go to every single form of temptation you know tempting you to sin because if you steal a little bit today and you get away with it you go to a store you steal a chocolate bar you get away with it that thrill that adrenaline rush or whatever you want to call it um you know the next time you go you maybe you take another chocolate bar you take a pack of skittles or something you're going to want to try and see bigger and bigger what you can get away with Right. Same thing with, uh, you know, adultery and, and fornication. These things, it just opens up that door a little bit. Once you let the devil in, OK, he comes in. But once he gets that foothold in or even that big toe or whatever, once he had the hand through your door, he's going to take his time and open that door wider and wider and wider. And all of his buddies are going to come in there. Right. So I definitely agree with this. You got to not open that door you have to make sure you deadbolt that door get extra locks on that door because when you open it up what satisfied you today is not going to satisfy you tomorrow <clears throat> okay uh let's continue from the devotional i think we only have two uh we only have two scriptures today so the first is matthew chapter 5 Give me one second here. I do take, I do take notes because like I said, you know, I was planning on doing the, this plan on my own, but I want to share it with you guys because I know that it's, it's definitely going to be beneficial to me. And in fact, I have to share that with you guys because I'm not a selfish person, a selfish, uh, <coughs> I'm not a selfish person. I can't find gold and keep it to myself. I have to share it with you guys as well i don't know i don't just want myself to become better i want to help uh, uh you know you guys to become better as well better followers of christ that's what it's all about um so forgive me here so uh this point is matthew chapter 5 verse 28 we are reading from <coughs> okay and it says here you know the next commandment 
pretty well too. Don't go to bed with another's spouse, okay? Because that would be adultery. But don't think you've preserved your virtue simply by staying out of bed, okay? This next part, I believe, is going to be very interesting here. Your heart can be corrupted by lust even quicker than your body. Those, those ogling looks you think nobody notices, they also corrupt. Just the looks. You don't even have to physically do it. Right. And of course, I believe we read uh, yesterday. Um, was it yesterday? It might have been in my personal uh, studying as well that I saw. But I believe. Uh, uh, hmm. But it says somewhere <clears throat> yesterday, I was looking over the scripture and it said that, you know, you know, uh, 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 if you've already thought it, even if you thought it, you didn't do it. You didn't. You weren't even going out to do it. But just you thinking of 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 doing something you've already done it i feel like it was in the first part the first video i've done in this um but yeah so it's not see even if you stay out of bed uh uh it says uh, don't think you preserved your virtue just by staying out of bed your heart can be corrupted by lust even quicker than your body quicker than your body because of course the first thing we do we see with our eyes and then immediately we start visualizing and thinking about it and the lust just begins right there it's right there same thing with any other temptation okay <clears throat> for me it's not just with my eyes because i go out i open my door my front door i go outside and i smell the the, the weed being smoked i smell it and immediately my mind is just like oh um, you know like you, you know I mean, you know, it's just like, man, that would, that would be so good right now. And this and that, and I'm already, I'm already doing it in my mind. And I have to quickly grab myself and I repent and be like, Lord, forgive me. Um, you're keeping me strong. The Holy spirit, give me strength to continue to fight the temptation. This is what I go through. I mean, this is what we have to do. We cannot fall to the temptation. We make mistakes, but we, we can't stay down. If you make that mistake, do not stay down, get up and try even harder and harder and harder and harder and harder. Seek the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit will give us the strength. That's what he's, he's doing. That's what he does. <clears throat> but again, you don't even have to physically do it. The oogling looks you think nobody notices. It's also corrupt. Wow. You don't even have to physically do it. One second. Let me write this down, please. I'm taking my notes here. <laughs> oh. And uh, the next one today is what was mentioned in the devotional. It is, that's Hosea chapter, Hosea chapter 9, verse 1 and 2. Okay, let's read uh, 1 and 2, but we're going to read, uh, this is... This is one to six. So we'll just read because of course the message version is don't waste your life in wild orgies, Israel. Don't party away your life with the heathen. You walk away from the, from your God at the drop of a hat and like a whore, sell yourself promiscuously at every sex and religion party on the street. All that party food won't fill you up. You'll end up hungrier than ever. At this rate, you'll not last long in God's land. Some of you are going to end up bankrupt in Egypt. Some of you will be disillusioned in Assyria. As refugees in Egypt and Assyria, you won't have much chance to worship God because you let all these other things come and take you over. So your focus cannot be on God. And that's how we fall to temptations when our focus is on the wrong things. Okay, and uh, sentenced to rations of bread and water, and your souls polluted by the spirit dirty air. You'll be starved for God, exiled from God's own country. Will you be homesick for the old holy days? Will you miss festival worship of God? Be warned, when you escape from the frying pan of disaster, you'll fall into the fire of Egypt. Egypt will give you a fine funeral. What use will all your God-inspired, lowercase g, silver be then? as you eek or ek out a living in a field of weeds. See, the, the, it, it comes down to it. 
the key to fighting temptation is to keep your focus on Jesus. Keep your focus on God. That's the thing. Once your focus is not on God, you're going to be you're going to be sidetracked. You're going to be blindsided with everything, everything that makes the flesh feel good, but the spirit is just not up for it. The spirit wants to focus on the creator, wants to focus on the maker, God. The spirit wants to focus on Jesus, but because of this flesh that we are in, that's just attracted to sin. The temptation is just so strong because that's what all of this, even this right here, it's just, it's just, it's literally just telling me <clears throat> that the focus must be on God, which, you know, obviously we know that, right? That's the, the main thing, right? Because if we're not focused on God, it's easy to get swept away with all of the the temptation the temptation will come up if you're focused on god temptation comes up and it you know it's a there it's nagging but you you brush it off and you you move forward but if you're not focused on god the temptation comes up and your spirit is weak once your spirit is weak the flesh is strong one of them has to be stronger than the other it's either your spirit is stronger and that's only going to happen by staying in prayer staying in the bible reading talking continuously building your relationship with jesus stronger and stronger and stronger the stronger your spirit is the weaker your flesh is and the stronger you are altogether right but if the flesh is stronger see that's what happens to a lot of people they lose their focus or not focused or not interested in being focused or were never never plan on being focused on god you know what i mean like their focus is on things of the world their focus is on lust their focus is on money cars houses girls uh, uh, uh <clears throat> just everything that really doesn't matter because none of those things matter cars don't matter okay money doesn't matter and when I say money doesn't matter, we need money to live, buy clothes, food, stuff like that. That's what I mean. But some, you know, the majority of the world puts those things above everything else. And that's what their full focus is on. And you cannot live like that. I got four kids, a wife, I'm married. There's a mortgage. I got car insurance. I got all these things. And none of that is my focus. My relationship with Christ is my focus. And I still fight all of these temptations. I fight porn temptations. I fight uh, uh, adultery temptations. I fight smoking temptations. I fight cussing temptations. I fight like I, I fight it daily, 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 daily. The one that really hits me hard is the smoking because I've been smoking for a long time, a long time. You know, sometimes I see somebody out there smoking a cigarette and it's just like, man, <laughs> I could use a cigarette. You know what I mean? Like. I'm, I'm, I'm driving down the windows open. I'm in traffic and I, and then the weed smoke is, I don't know if it's the car in front, the car behind people on the street, whatever. And it's just coming at me and it's like, man, I could really use a big head right now, you know, or a spliff right now or what, you know what I mean? Like the temptation is there, man. It's there, you know, it's there. I've gotten messaged by, you know, people and I'm just like, nah, you're, you're up to no good, you know, uh, female people. I'm like, you're up to no good. I can see it already. I don't have time for this. It's not going to happen. Block. I don't entertain it because again, like I said, you leave that door open to get that foot or hand or toe in and that's it. Don't take note. The Bible says if your right hand offends you, chop it off. We got to do this. We have to do this. We have to do this. Facebook watch. It offends me. So I chopped it off. Okay. I usually go on there and watch the movies and things. And I noticed that there's some uh, 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 some very explicit R-rated uh, videos sneaking in there because what the people are doing on Facebook, they're putting hashtags for like uh, soccer matches and hashtag uh, soldiers and this. They just put some fake hashtags in there, but the videos are not what it seems. And I'm like, no, 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 this is going to be a problem. So I chopped off Facebook watch on the app. Uh, the app, the, I have Facebook here on my home, on my, uh, desktop here, right up here. The one tab that I don't go to in there is Facebook watch. 
I'm telling you, I don't go into it. I chop that off because it, it, it's too much. It's tempting. And no matter how much I block those videos, because you know, when you, in Facebook watch, for example, if it's there, there's an X, there's the three little dots, you click those and it's supposed to be show less. So every time if I'm watching a video, because sometimes they show like trailers or movie clips and stuff like that. So I, I, I was, I would be on there and I'm watching them. And then when that one's done, it scrolls to the next one. And there it is something that definitely shouldn't be allowed on Facebook. And I boom, click show less. I wish there was a block, but there's no block. So show less, show less, show less. The next day it's coming back. So I'm like, Facebook, what are you doing? And I'm like, you know what? No, it's potentially going to be a problem and I'm not having it, I'm not having it. So I, I completely block it off. And if I do find myself still going back to Facebook watch, which I haven't, but if it does happen, I will cut off Facebook completely. We, we cannot allow ourselves to fall. It's too easy. And I'm being straightforward with you guys. Like I've said in the last video, because we need to do better. We do bet we, we, we go all out for all the other things of the world that don't matter for God, for our soul, for our salvation. We got to go above and beyond. We got to go. We, we have to, man. And we got to share these things with everybody else because some people be like, oh, you know, oh, I watch porn. There's nothing wrong with it. There's something definitely wrong with it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you stealing. Obviously, there's something definitely wrong with it. Lying. There's something definitely wrong with it. Don't be ashamed to share with your friends, share with your family. We all got to work together to fight the temptation and fight for our salvation. Okay. Jesus Christ died on the cross for us, for you, for me, for your family, your friends, my family, my friends. We got to fight, fight the temptation, fight the enemy, fight the devil. It's spiritual warfare and we got to be ready to fight these things that we think are harmless. It's not harmless. It's not harmless. And you see here, we will get, we will, we will be uh, 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 exiled. Okay. We will be exiled in the Bible. It was spoke to spoke about the, the children of Israel. They were exiled to Babylon, uh, to Babylon, right? I take that looking like uh, 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 we're God's children here. And if we fall to temptation and lose our focus on Christ, we're going to be exiled to hell. That's where we're going to be exiled to. And there's no coming back. There's no coming back. The children of Israel, they came back from Babylon, right? After that certain time and went back and rebuilt and everything. But for us, the, 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 the true exile is hell and we don't want to be there. Fight the temptation man. fight it, fight it. I know I was rambling on a little bit. I'm sorry, but this is important. We have to talk about these things. We have to strengthen one another. Stay in the spirit, stay in the word, man. The Holy Spirit is here to guide you. Okay, I think that's day two finished. Okay, I took a little bit of notes. You know, I hope you guys uh, uh, took a little bit of notes as well. You know, write down those scriptures, Matthew 5, 28, Hosea 9, 1 to 2, or read 1 to 6. You know, get some full context in there as well. But uh, we did it. We did it here, day two. And um, yeah, I hope this was a blessing for you guys. And um, I'll be back again for day three. And as always, I'm your humble Picasso. Be blessed in Jesus' name. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out.